The amazing iWalk 2.0 crutch gives you the freedom and pain-free mobility never before available. Now there's no more hand, wrist or underarm pain and you can go about your day-to-day -day routine with ease. I'm Kelly Roberts and I'm going to show you how to adjust and tailor your iWalk 2.0 so that walking for your first time will be safe and easy. We'll go through setting the height, vertical alignment and adjusting and tensioning the straps. We'll start with your iWalk fully assembled. Now let's remove all three of the straps. Simply push forward on the T-lock buckle and lift off. Put them aside for now. Next, make sure the thigh support thumb screws are loose and that the supports can rotate like this. The next step is really important, orienting the foot for left or right leg use. The adjustment is easy and intuitive. So here's what you do. Make sure that the curved edge is towards the outside. So if you're setting up your crutch for your right leg, then the curved part goes towards the right. For the left leg, it's the opposite. This is a critical safety feature, so make sure that you have it correct before you go any further. Now changing from right to left is simple. Just loosen the clamp bolt, push in on the double-headed spring and rotate the foot 180 degrees until its spring heads snap into the holes, then re-tighten the clamp. Now remove anything from your pockets, pull your pants up at the waist and let's get started. Once you have the iWalk foot properly aligned, the next step is to adjust the height of the lower section. Here's how you do it. First, locate the bottom of your kneecap. Then, either sitting or standing, hold the crutch in front of your leg with the back of the knee platform against your shin. Make sure the platform is level and line up the lower spot on the pad right here with your shin. You can raise or lower it by pressing in the push button springs and raise or lower the foot until you have the correct height. We've purposely set the height a little low because it's going to be easier for you to learn at this height. Later, we'll raise it a bit, but for now, tighten the clamp bolt and check the height. Make sure the spring heads are fully engaged in the holes, otherwise the crutch can collapse when you put weight on it, and we certainly don't want that. In a moment, you're going to kneel on the platform, but before you do, remember that at this point, you're holding the crutch up and it's not supporting you. So make sure you have a helper or a handrail or some other stabilizing surface you can rely on in case you lose your balance. Place the foot of your eye walk directly beside your good foot, about shoulder width apart. Okay, so now grab the handle and slip your knee all the way to the front of the platform. If the platform height is correct, you'll have about a five to 10 degree bend in your good knee. Keep kneeling on the crutch and now we're going to adjust the upper section height. The goal is to have the thigh supports as high as possible on your leg. So push in the spring button head while pulling up or pushing down on the handle until you have the correct height. Again, make sure the spring head is fully engaged. Next, we're going to adjust the thigh supports. These handy gadgets will not only allow us to fit your thigh size, they'll also vertically align the crutch to your leg type. So even if you're knock-kneed or bow-legged like me, the iWalk 2.0 can adjust for it. Now follow along with me. We'll make both adjustments at the same time. Take the handle and tilt the top of the crutch inwards until you can feel that both of the treads are touching the ground. Test it a couple of times by rocking the crutch outward then back inward, you'll feel the inner tread touch the ground. When you're sure both treads are on the ground, push on the inner thigh support until it's firmly against your inner thigh. Now securely tighten the thumb screw to lock the support in place. There are interlocking teeth on the bottom of the handle and the top of the thigh support. They'll keep the support from slipping after you've tightened down the thumb screws. Now do the same thing for the outer thigh support. It's really critical to make sure these thigh supports are locked in. If they slip, the stability of the crutch is compromised. So double check by flexing the thigh supports in and out to make sure they're firmly in place. If they slip, reset them and check them again. Also, if your thigh supports are adjusted asymmetrically like this, that's perfectly normal for many leg types. Next, we're going to install the straps. But before we do, I want to show you how they work. The straps have two sections, the length adjustment section and the donning and doffing section. 
The length adjustment section, which has the black buckles, is used for adjusting the length of the strap to fit your leg. So you should only have to adjust this one time, then you're done. The donning, doffing or on-off section, which has the grey buckles, is used to tension and release the strap so you can quickly and easily get into and out of the crutch. You'll use this each time you put on or take off your eye walk. Let's start by fully extending the straps. First, extend the adjustment section by lifting up on the tension lock while pulling on the T-lock buckle. Next, extend the donning doffing section the same way. By the way, even though the black and grey tension lock buckles look different, they work the same way. While you're doing this, notice that there's a fold that's stitched into the strap. This stops the strap from going all the way through the buckle to leave enough room so that you can hang on to it. Now install the three straps onto the crutch, starting with the black buckles on the inside of the crutch. Let's pull the comfort pads out of the way for now. Let's also slide the calf strap to the back of the platform. Next, you're going to adjust the length and tension of the straps. Start by kneeling on the crutch again, but remember the crutch isn't supporting you yet, so keep a good grip on the handle and position your feet properly. Drape the strap over the back of your knee and attach the grey T-lock buckle to the front of the platform. Make sure your knee is all the way forward and pull up and over on the adjustment end until the strap is snug, but not fully tight. If you've got it right, you shouldn't ever have to adjust this part again. Now, pull on the donning doffing strap to lock yourself in. It should be really tight, especially when you're learning. Getting a finger between the strap and your leg should be possible, but not easy. That's all you have to do. Repeat this for the upper thigh strap and then finish with the calf strap. Generally, you want the calf strap to be as far back as possible, but if you have a cast, boot, brace or condition that needs accommodation, you can slide the strap forward to where it best functions. Now, at the front of the crutch there's a knee strap. This strap should be tied against your leg. Sliding it up or down controls the forward position of your leg, so experiment to find the setting that you like the best. To take your eye walk off, just pull apart the Velcro. Then release the tension by lifting the front of the grey tension lock. Then remove the T-lock buckle. As you can see, getting in and out of the eye walk is really quick and easy. Now that your eye walk 2.0 is adjusted to fit you, you're ready to take your first steps, which I'll guide you through in our next video. It's time to get off those crutches and experience a whole new world of mobility and freedom that you can only get with your eye walk 2.0.